Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. So, people are starting to campaign in Iowa because the caucuses and all that are going to be starting in a couple months, the primaries and everything. What does Joe Biden's campaign say? He doesn't have to win Iowa. Really? So it's not that important. Oh. Do I think we have to win Iowa? No, the senior advisor told reporters in a briefing according to Politico. No. Is, is the reason Joe doesn't have to win in Iowa because he doesn't... If you agree with me, go to Joe 30330 and help me in this fight. Thank you very much. Oh, because the, the campaign's running a thousand years from now? Or, or, or Joe <laughs> doesn't know what he's doing. Or maybe... Advisors say they do not expect other candidates like Warren and Bernie Sanders to exit the race early, instead predicting a more drawn-out primary fight. You know what that means? You know what that's code for? What this is all about? We're going to push this to a second ballot. We know the superdelegates will screw them over. And I'm not the only one who thinks this. There's this MSNBC parody account that I've started to follow, which is hilarious. MSDNC update. Superdelegates confirm Biden doesn't have to win any states to capture the 2020 nomination. Talking about the story I'm talking about. There it is. That's this account, by the way, is hilarious. Please follow it at MSDNC News. They're fantastic. They're showing, they just mock MSNBC and show how they're just in the bag for the DNC across the board. They're just, it's hilarious. And this is basically what they're saying. I mean, they're, they're mocking them, but this is the truth. I don't need to win Iowa. We'll just push this to a second ballot when the superdelegates will screw over Bernie Sanders. I mean, Tulsi Gabbard is already not probably going to qualify for this next debate. Gravel had to drop out. But Tom Steyer, billionaire, just automatically gets to go. He just automatically gets to do it. And they keep trying to push Elizabeth Warren as this. She's this progressive. She was a Republican until she was 47 years old. She voted, first of all, she endorsed Hillary in 2016. She didn't back Bernie Sanders. She voted along with four other Democrats, including Cory Booker, to give Trump uh, in October of 17, 80 billion extra dollars for the war budget that he didn't ask for. She wants to green up the military, which is like, hooray, now bombs will be pow powered by rocket, by rockets will be powered by biodiesel. I screwed up my own joke. Uh, like, who wants a green imperial army? That's not going to help. This. She doesn't want to cut military. She doesn't want to cut all of our wars. She doesn't want to put more money into into a green economy. She just wants to green up the military, which is that's just code for the military industrial complex. Don't worry. If I'm president, I got your back. She calls herself an avowed capitalist. She stood up and clapped when Trump said in his State of the Union speech at the beginning of the year that America will never be a socialist country. It's always going to be a capitalist country. She stood up and clapped. Bernie Sanders sat down. So that's just the arrogance of the, of the Biden and the DNC and the corporate Democrats knowing they're going to screw over progressives. They got their system locked in. So that's what it looks like, everybody. That's what they're doing. My name's Graham Elwood. You're watching The Political Vigilante. Please support the show. YouTube started unsubscribing people again. We, were re we, we picked up 30,000 subscribers in like six weeks. It was amazing. And we got to 51,949, 970. Now we're at 935. They're starting to take subscribers down again. So make sure you're subscribed. Even if you've done it a million times, hit the bell notification button. Watch the ads all the way through. When you click skip ad, I don't get paid. And support me in other ways like rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. The link is in the show notes below, R-O-K-F-I-N. It is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. I'm putting all my videos up there, all my videos up there, and they're ad-free. And for a mere $10 a month, you get access to all the premium subscribers' bonus content. So support what I'm doing there. It's blockchain, it's cryptocurrency. Also Patreon, which is a fine place to support me. You get uh, bonus content for as little as $5 a month. And check us out, the Progressive Comedy Tour. We're doing uh, September 4th through the 8th. We're doing Omaha, Sioux Falls, Madison, Minneapolis, and Iowa City. I'm doing Moscow September 20th. 
and the ticket link for St. Petersburg, September 27th will be up soon. And there are also ticket links for the November Progressive Comedy Tour Down Under. Ron Placone and I, November 14th, will be in Melbourne, the 15th Adelaide, the 17th Sydney, and the 22nd Perth. I'm told all of those shows, tickets are moving fast. So if we're already moving a lot of tickets two, three months out, it'll probably sell out by the time we get to November. So get your tickets now. Thanks for supporting what I do. Every Sunday, we do a live chat at 3 p.m. Pacific. Check us out for that. And make sure you shave your knuckles for justice. You're making Gotham great again. Thank you.